everybody welcome back to my channel in this week's video I'm going to show you what not to do to your watercolor paper. Do you ever start lettering or painting with watercolor and you want your watercolor to behave like this? Act nice and smooth on a piece of paper. But instead you notice that your paint is behaving badly like this. And guys it's your fault. I'm not kidding. You might not even realize you're doing it until you start seeing your paint do this weird kind of stuff. So what is it? Well, I'm glad you asked. I've been having this problem for years and people just kept telling me I was getting a bad batch of watercolor paper. But I recently figured out what I was doing wrong. I touch my paper. Oh, the horror. But we all do it, whether we sketch something first or we, we're just cutting the paper into smaller pieces or tearing it out of a pad, you're gonna touch your paper. So here's a little demonstration. I will touch one side of the paper, the left side, with my fingers and not touch the other side. Now I washed my hands a couple hours ago and all I've been doing since then is just setting up all this for filming. I didn't put lotion on my hands or anything like that and as far as I can see my fingers don't seem oily at all, they just they feel normal. But you can still see my fingerprints right there. I was so shocked at how much oil was on my hands that I didn't even realize was there. So the easy fix is just wash your hands right before you sit down to paint and don't use any kind of lotion. Try not to touch your hair while you're painting. Try not to touch your face with your fingers when you're painting. So just make sure that you do not touch your paper with your palm or with your fingers and be careful when you're at stores touching paper too because we feel for the texture a lot of times but we don't realize that we are putting oil on a pad on a piece of paper that somebody else later on is going to use. So maybe the few times that I did notice this in the past, maybe it was a bad batch of paper because somebody maybe already put their fingerprints on there and then just left it at the store and then I came along and bought it. So just be careful, be considerate. So when you are trying to feel for the texture of watercolor paper at a store, make sure you just touch a little tiny corner of it. Don't just run your whole hand over the whole piece of paper because this is what the next person is going to have to deal with. All right, see you guys next week. Check out my other videos, subscribe, and I'll see you next Friday with more lettering and art tips.